Hey everyone, Epithemy here, and for today's video, I wanted to go over some quick tips for peeking corners in Counter-Strike. If you all enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below with any other video suggestions as well. Now, let's get right into this. Many people, especially starting out, have trouble with peeking corners. I know I did. There are a few fundamental tips that I have for you today to help with peeking corners. The first tip is your crosshair placement as you're peeking the corner. Many people tend to pre-aim the spot they think someone can be, but the moment that person is not there and in a different spot, you have to flick to them. And when they already have a shot on you, they will end up winning the gunfight nine times out of 10. So instead of pre-aiming the corner, you need to sweep around the corner. So that way you are more likely to already have your crosshair on the person in a different spot or already in the motion to swing to them if they are not where you expected them. This is also very nice because it will actually make you fully clear the section than having the chance in possibly looking past someone or not seeing them just out of the corner of your eye. Another tip for peeking corners is to use your utilities. Many people can often forget they have utility to help them out. Once again, I know I have. Especially when peeking a corner, you can molotov a certain spot out, you can smoke off a crossfire if you feel like there's going to be a crossfire, or smoke off choke points, or even pop flash yourself or a teammate in. Obviously, if you do pop flash a teammate in, it is definitely more likely they can pick up the kill unless you throw a really good pop flash. So always remember to use your utility because it can come in handy. Any three of those things can easily change a really just simple gunfight into you easily winning the gunfight and getting more information for your team and putting your team a man up. So also when peeking a corner, make sure you have a teammate there to possibly pick up the trade. I know I talked about pop flashing a teammate in, but in general, when you are peeking a corner, make sure you have a teammate there because trading kills in a competitive match can be game changing, especially if they work in your favor. Many people feel they have to make moves on their own for your team to win. But all too often that is not the case and can actually just make your team lose. Teamwork and communication can help tremendously and rather than being one man down it can change one simple corner peek or gunfight into the other team losing a man and your team getting more information as I said before. Now, the final tip I have for peeking corners is within the way you peek them. I previously went over grenades to draw people out, but you can also draw out the other player's shot or make them have to re-peek or readjust if you shoulder peek to draw that out. Many people call it jiggle peeking or shoulder peeking, but it still has the same concept of either making someone look into a flash or drawing out an opera's shot or even just getting information. Shoulder peeking or jiggle peeking can be very beneficial beneficial but at the same time you can get picked so you have to be really careful with it you have to be really fast with it and you have to make sure you're not having too much of your body being shown so in certain circumstances it should always be taken into consideration and I would definitely try it out you really got to find your where you're comfortable and what works for you as well too so I would definitely try out jiggle peeking see how you feel about it see if it works in your advantage and uh, I mean it will definitely help you here or there in certain situations Overall, these are some main fundamentals that can change one encounter from being bad to working in your favor and helping your team take rounds. So I hope this video helped you all out. My name is Epithemy, and I'll catch you all next time.